Do you dream of a colony so strong that even a bullfrog can't withstand your might? Then keep watching and you'll find out how to make your army unstoppable. All right, for this overpowered strategy, what you need is you need an eruptor colony from the formicarium, all right? And then you only need two ants. You need the fire ants and you need the wood ants. Now the wood ants need to be specialized in the genetics so that they inflict venom and also have the crippling. That the crippling is the most important part of this build, all right? Now you can use whichever wood ant you want. It doesn't matter, mortar or rapid fire, but I'm going to use mortar. Same thing with the fire ants. You don't need to use pervasive or vigorous. I'm just using vigorous because I prefer it. And just to show you, we have five fire ants and three wood ants, and we are going to completely destroy all these checkered beetle larva. Now, technically, if this was any other colony, we'd be absolutely destroyed right now. But here we are absolutely rinsing these larva. Look how strong we are. This pocket of Devil's Coach Horse larva stood no chance. I don't even think they killed half of the fire ants that we had. In fact, you know what? I'm feeling so bold, I think we can take on this pocket. What's in there? I have no idea. Is it one of the strongest? I think it is the strongest pocket in the underground. Let's find out. A whole bunch of hermit crabs. Wow. If this was any other colony, we'd be in trouble right now. But as you can see, the venom is just destroying them. Now, granted, it would be better if we had a bit more soldiers in our army group. But I just wanted to show off their pure power. How much they are just shredding through their health. Like, this is one of the best health creatures in the entire game. And they are just getting destroyed left, right, and center. And this would be even better if we actually, you know, took our time and cleared out the rest of the underground to make our army the strongest possible. If we were any other colony, we'd be toast right now. And because of our aggression, we are well rewarded. Now, I just want everyone to remember, this is only level one creatures. We only have one group of level one fire ants and one group of level one uh, wood ants. So the fact that they were able to do that much damage, imagine what they could do at level three. Woo. Go my army, rush them, crush them like the insects they are. Just about a half hour underground and we have already created three chambers of fire ants, one of wood ants, and two of the fire ants are level three and the wood ants are level three. And we have a full food chamber's worth of storage. Tell me again how they aren't overpowered. In fact, I feel so confident I'm going to go raid blue. Now we do have three corrupt colonies. We got a fire ant to our bottom right. To the bottom left, we have a big headed ant. And to the top left, I believe we have ourselves little black ants. Actually, no, the fire ants seem to be wanting to invade blue. So I'm going to let them gather some food. Why not increase my army size? even more. Now, to be honest, I think I probably should have gone with another wood ant colony. Oh, yep, they're all going for my fish. Let's try to take out the fire ants, actually. Let's head on down there, and I'm sure we'll get some food along the way, along the marching path. So technically, we kind of are equals. Actually, yeah, we, we both are and aren't equal to them. Yes, we both have fire ants, but I have wood man, wood mans, wood ants supporting my assault. However, they do get free hatches and free food, so we'll see if we can clear through them faster than they can respawn. And the invasion begins. Who will triumph in this war? I was gonna say, get some wood ants in there, please, so we can actually start clearing through. Oh, good lord. Good lordy Lou. We seem to be cutting through their army like a knife through. I'm so proud of my ants. But we definitely need to get some more in there. Please send help. Although I don't know how much help they need. Oh yeah. The foraging line is here. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're going to win. Uh, it's. I'd say it's about 50/50 whether or not we'll win this. Let's find out. We definitely are blowing through a bit of food, but hopefully we are getting a little bit on the march down. So, like, if we can clear this entire ant chamber out, that'll be enough food for a while. All right, we just broken through the, past the first fortification line. Now, if we can keep the assault going. I hear so many hatches always. Uh, I don't know. Seems a little iffy whether or not we'll win. Luckily, the fire ants aren't too bad hatch cost-wise, so I'm not too worried about that. 
And I'm pretty sure we have all of our wood ants in there. Uh, most of our wood ants. All right, looks like we're about to break past the second bit. This could be where our assault may flounder a bit. Oh my God, they are running so low on troops. Like, did you see that? We were, we almost had a clear shot to the queen. Just gotta clear up what spawned behind us and then we can push forward. Oh, good Lord, we have done it. We have broken into the queen's chamber and we have killed the fire ant colony. Remember, this is on corrupt and we just destroyed them. Absolutely annihilated them. And now we shall raid them for everything they have. Oh, look, the little black ant army is trying to invade us. Oh, how cute. All right, we have completely cleaned out the fire ant colony and we seem to have grown our army just a little bit. So we're going to go invade the little black ants now. Oh, you know what? In retaliation for this attack, this unwarranted and unjustified attack, we shall be taking on the big headed ants instead. They started this war, but I will certainly finish this one. And here we go, the skirmish has begun. Now the super majors are very strong, but are they stronger than this combo? Oh no, a toad, what shall we do? Melt it, that's what we'll do. I don't think they exactly got the memo that they're supposed to go inside the nest and instead are trying to hang out on top of the nest. It's a common mistake. I, I, I can see why you, you might uh, get that a little confused. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It seems to be going better than the fire ant invasion. Actually, yeah, we haven't even got our mortars in there, really. The underground is just so crowded, we can't even get our mortars in there. If we can make it so we push to about here, then we'd be in a very golden position. Oh, yeah, now I'm starting to see our mortars stacking up. Oh, jeez. This was... This was a really good idea. Uh, I like my ideas. So smart. Thanks, me. Oh, yeah. Now we're starting to push up to where we can consolidate our forces and don't get them split up or distracted. Oh, thus it begins. The beginning of the end for the big-headed ant colony. Oh, yeah. The queen's taking a little damage. Like, if that was an raptor colony, it would have activated their ability. And that was just, like, a few stray shots, too. Imagine full-on attack. Oof. The Royal Guard is breaking. Now's the time to push for the advantage. And there it goes. The mighty empire has fallen. We're just going to clean them up and then we're going to... I don't think we're going to raid them for food. Like, we don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to take what we got and invade the little black ants. All right, good. We clear them out. Now let's push our offensive to the last bastion of the undergrowth and so it begins just need a second for my army to get there the problem with little black ants is th their confuse is really strong but mortars kind of ignore that completely and honestly these fire ants are so strong that it seems like it doesn't really matter they're confused why are they so small why are they so small in number they should be bigger well the little black ant colony is a little disappointing turns out um for whatever reason, they just seem to have less numbers than any other colony. Man, an AI little black ant is super weak. Yeah, that was easy. GG. And that is why this combination is just so unbelievably broken. We broke three colonies at Corrupt with just two different ants. That's all we needed. We have conquered the undergrowth. And I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe for more Empires of the Undergrowth. Catch you later.